plants use the glucose they produce to grow, so most plants are adapted to make as much glucose as possible. There's always a good supply of carbon dioxide from the air, but the amount of light and water can be limited. How might a plant cope if it lives somewhere very dry? Or in a place where there isn't much light? The shape and size of a plant gives you clues about the environment it grows in. What if the amount of light is limited? Deep on the rainforest floor there's not much light, so the leaves arrange themselves in a whirl to grab any bit they can. You can tell these leaves live in dark, gloomy places, big loads of chlorophyll to suck in any light they can. More clues here. Small leaves, much paler green, these live with us bucket loads of light. In dry places, plants have found ways of limiting the water lost through leaves. To help prevent water loss, this leaf's got a furry surface which traps the moisture in the hairs. You can tell this plant comes from a dry place because it's evolved not to have leaves at all. It stores water in its thick, succulent stems. Plants in dry places have very deep roots. You can tell this one's from a wet place because the roots are on the surface because the air is full of moisture.